Let's return now to that story in Taiwan, which has evacuated mountain areas, put the military on standby as well as it braces for a super typhoon, a Category 4 cyclone. Let's go live to our Asia correspondent, Stash Butler, who's in southern Taiwan. Stash, what kind of damage is expected? How are people there preparing for it? Well, I think a lot of the damage, I mean, as you saw with Hurricane Helene, uh, this typhoon Craton is a very similar intensity, also a Category 4 equivalent typhoon. So really going to be seeing a lot of the same damage. Authorities here predict, uh, predicting extremely strong winds, waves of up to six metres high along the coast, and uh, rainfall in parts of the island of up to a metre over the next 24 hours. Now, I'm in the, the southern port city of Kaohsiung, uh, home to about three million people, which is directly in the path of this typhoon. I've seen people piling up sandbags to uh, protect their homes and shops against some of that flooding. Flights across parts of the island have been cancelled as well. People have been called off the day of school and work here in southern Taiwan. Now, what's really worrying authorities, I mean, right now the, the typhoon is about 200 kilometers away from where I am now, uh, causing flooding in the Philippines. What's worrying authorities is its path, because normally typhoons in Taiwan approach from the east, they approach from the Pacific, they strike Taiwan's mountainous east coast, where only about 10% of the population live. This one, on the other hand, is coming from the south and it's going to hit the west coast where 90% of Taiwan's 23 million people live. So really, authorities bracing for the kind of damage that perhaps we haven't seen, or at least the kind of path that we haven't seen a typhoon take in at least two decades, if not more. Stash, thank you for that. We'll talk to you soon.